I don't just wear the same t-shirt by the way. Um, I just tend to film these in a block when I have the mental energy to do loads. So I'll do like five videos and then you'll probably only see one, but I, I just do them like that. I do change my clothes, but I can't be asked to run into the other room and put another t-shirt on and give you the illusion that I actually am doing it on different days. So this video is gonna be about anxiety and how to cope with anxiety. And there's a hair in my eyeball. So uh, let's get started. So anxiety, the fear, or oh, the way you're below your heart and all those organs, there is the little thing that people call the solar plexus or other people will refer to the second nervous system, which basically operates all of those little pretty hormones and chemicals in your body that tell you to run away from a tiger. The thing is though, as time has gone on, we don't have to really run away from tigers as much. We only see tigers behind bars and we don't see them chasing after us. Which means it causes this little place sometime, it causes it to go into overdrive in certain situations because we feel that we're being chased by a tiger or a lion. Now anxiety can come at any time of the day. There is not a specific time. There is not a specific trigger. It can just appear. Hello, I'm the anxiety monster, I'm going to destroy you. That is what it's saying and that is how your body will react. Your body will go into overdrive and you'll start releasing adrenaline, causing you to want to run away, be scared, be paranoid. And it may also cause nausea, it may cause you to become very kind of paralyzed in a sense. You may feel surrounded and confused and upset and you may think the worst is going to happen. Anxiety can be the kickstart of other things, as well as uh, panic attacks, uh, blackouts, um, delusions. There is many things that it can lead to, and also the worst case scenarios, it can lead to a lot of stomach ulcers, because combined with the stress and constant running on adrenaline, it, it causes you to get tired. Why am I talking about anxiety? Anxiety has been a very prominent thing in my life for a very long time. I think from the age of, let's go back to 10 years, I'd say. 10 years in the making. Or, or before that, I don't know, back in the childhood. Because I was very, bull very much bullied at school a lot and very much um, bullied about my parents and while I was in class and just completely made a fool of and humiliated in front of people. It makes me nowadays very, very worried or before I go to an event or before I go out, I get very anxious and I, I have the feeling to always, always just cancel at last minute and be like, I'm, I'm sick or I can't, I can't go out. Social anxiety has become very more, very much more so acceptable as the years have gone on. And I love this. I love that people are more open and prone to understanding that social anxiety or anxiety in itself is not just something you can say, get over it, smile, it'll be fine. You're just making up excuses. So anxiety and how to combat it, because you probably watched this video because I probably put in the title anxiety and how to deal with it or how to cure it, not cure it, screw up that. Anxiety and combat techniques, something along those lines. So. I have a handy dandy Apple Watch, not on me right now, and this is not a sponsored video, but I use the breathe technique on the um, Apple Watch, but you can do it yourself. You don't need to have a fancy watch to do it. So when you feel the anxiety is coming on, it is quite hard, but it is good to get yourself into a very quiet space, a bed, a room, a cupboard. Uh, the technique is very simple. You inhale, count to approximately four, one, two, three, four, not Mississippi's, just a normal count, and breathe out. Finally, another one you can do, which I like to do quite a lot, is get yourself a pad, piece of paper, anything you can write on, even a phone if need be, and write down how you feel. It may sound really ridiculous and may be like, it's just writing down, it's not gonna change anything. But a lot of the time, anxiety is spurred on by a cognitive thought process. Cognitive thought process, oh, I'm saying so many words. Words, 
Oh God, I'm terrible at this. The thought process is a loop which continues in your mind and causes the reaction to happen, but it's very automatic. Same with thoughts, they're very automatic. They can be a bitch to deal with. And the best way to tackle them is write them down and get them out on paper. Kind of like vomiting, you need to get that shit out. There's something unhealthy, Boop, out it goes. Healthier, kind of, not really. Another thing is be patient with your mind. Understand that it has been in this loop for a very long time and you need to be very gentle with yourself and give yourself some self-love. I mean, you're doing something extremely, extremely different and extremely new and you're doing something very important for your own self-worth. You need to know that. You need to know that you're doing something which some people don't do and you're being unique in saying, I'm gonna tackle this head on. You're extremely brave and extremely strong, so don't forget that about yourself. Be present where you are, know where you are. And another thing that I do that has been quite helpful, which I've been taught as a technique, is use the senses, the present senses. Um, basically, what can you hear at the moment? Or the room you're in? What can you see around you? What can you smell? And what can you taste? And, um... Imagine your feet on the ground and anchored. This is used as a technique to obviously calm you down as well. And it makes you feel where you are and it makes you feel more secure. I hope some of these tips have helped you with anxiety. I'm gonna start doing some self-help videos um, as I do the process and self-helping and maybe it might help you. If you did enjoy this video and you have comments below, please do leave them. I'd like to know your experience. And as I said, this is an open conversation. Please get involved. See you later, bye.